this model from WSI comes in their usual packaging, but peering out of the window we can see one difference to the usual models. And that's because this is an exclusive limited edition. It's produced for Maguire's models of the UK, and it includes a uniquely numbered certificate which always adds to the collectability. The model is a Scania R730, and it's paired up with a Boss House 4 axle trailer. The model is in the colours of Gordon Gilder, which is a UK haulage company. Out of the box we begin with the trailer and then comes the Scania. Oh, and as we see there's also one loose part. There's also some bags of parts. The loose part is a metal exhaust stack and that just slots back in. And it's an easy and quick fix with our old friend, Sue Perglu. Once it's glued we slot it back in place. And then we can go and read the latest nonsense on Twitter whilst we wait for a few minutes. You want assembly? Then you've got it. But not much of it because all you have to do is join the tractor and trailer and clunk click does the trick. Just a reminder that you can see all of the reviews made by Cranes Etc over on the Cranes Etc website. Over a thousand models have been reviewed and each one's got its own report. Also if you'd like to support Cranes Etc going forwards then head over to the Cranes Etc Patreon page where you can sign up to support our work and get some rewards too. The detail under the Scania is really nice. There's a gearbox and all of the suspension and transmission, and there are different tyres front and back. There are some plastic boxes with the finish being a little bit rough on one of them, but right side up the Scania cab looks great in the colours of Gordon Gilder. The paintwork and graphics really stand out and make it an attractive model. The Boss House trailer is an excellent model with its finish underneath, and there's a variety of details including tanks, and plenty of hoses which are all very intricate. At the back there are rear stabilisers but they are non-functional. The quality of the deck is very good with replica inlaid timbers and textured metal surfaces. At the back the loading ramps look really good with realistic chains and many other fine details. <laughs> Out on the Cranes Etc motorway the Scania is a nice roller and it's got some steering movement which we'd class as moderate. So you can't pose it turning sharply but there's enough to be able to drive you around the bend. The tilting cab is implemented very well and it stays tilted and the engine underneath has got some decent detailing. We've seen the Boss House trailer many times before and it's a really good model and it starts off with the engineering with the axles having nicely sprung suspension and the rear two having linked steering. If you want to pose the model without a tractor you can lower the landing legs by unscrewing, but we'll test it first with how well it drives along. It's every bit as smooth as the Scania, and just look at the rock on that suspension. If we set the steering then a nice curve is traced out. One thing that's always good to see on an articulated trailer is that all of the wheels are grounded, and on this model everything's perfect, with all of the wheels rotating nicely. The other big feature on the trailer is that it's extendable, so just get a grip and pull it apart. Let's try loading it up and we'll begin with a couple of tower crane sections, and to fit those on the low part we've extended the trailer slightly. In fact this is not really a typical load for Gordon Gilder, because they concentrate more on machinery, livestock and refrigerated transport. So talking of machinery let's give it a go with an excavator and here we see a small Hitachi excavator looking the part. If the load we've got is a bit wide we can pull out the marker boards at the gooseneck and if we really want to make our mark we can add the marker boards at the back. Of course this particular trailer has got loading ramps so we can use those when we want to unload the excavator. We disconnect the chains and then we can slowly pull down the hydraulic ramps. The two parts of each ramp are nicely interlocked and they go down nice and flat making a good contact with the ground. All that remains is to fire up the excavator and drive it off and use flying mode when we want to go over the top of the marker boards. 
There is yet another display option on the model and that is the addition of four container locks. They drop into place easily, then we can lift in a 20 foot container. And that provides another interesting display pose. The trailer comes with all the usual parts to make it flexible and that includes ramps to get up on the gooseneck. And there are plenty of metal deck posts which can be put into holes on the deck edge. Using those you can add in a support beam. And the purpose of that is to provide a support at the same level as the gooseneck deck. And finally if you want you can pull out all of the little supports that run along the deck edge. And some more plastic timbers are provided which span between them. So you can make a wider deck for a wider load. This is another very attractive limited edition model from WSI. And as usual the major plus point is the tip top detailing. And the boss house trailer is well engineered with plenty of functionality. So if you want a nice limited edition model, this one is excellent.